Is it good to have high microbial diversity on skin? Well, when you compare Westerners to hunter-gatherer communities, you find that we've lost somewhere around a third of the diversity on our skin microbiome. That's quite a lot of co-evolved microbes that we've lost. And if you look at the, the way that the community is broken up, uh, hunter-gatherers have at least a dozen dominant species on skin and Westerners are dominated by around four different microbes. And when you plot them in a three-dimensional graph, you can see that the, the, the Western population is a long way away from where the hunter-gatherer population is. So you can see also in this chart that the, we're dealing with very different microbes in these two populations. So is it good to have high microbial diversity on skin? Well, our answer to that is yes, it is good to have high microbial diversity on skin, but that, those, that diversity should come from the group of co-evolved microbes, not any random microbes, that they should be the ones that belong on our skin. Thank you.